On tonight, Auburn University Tiger fans are mourning the voice of that team and his wife. Rod and Paula Bramblett died in a car crash involving a 16-year-old driver in Auburn, Alabama. New at 11, Channel 2's Taisha Fernandez traveled to Auburn where she met up with a young fan at the accident scene. We came down here to Auburn, Alabama to find out how this community is dealing with the loss of someone who's been a legend here at this school. I mean, when you think of the Tigers, many people think of Rod Bramblett. People I spoke to are devastated. Touchdown, Auburn! Touchdown, Auburn! It's going to be weird not hearing his voice over the intercom. McKinley Taylor is a 13-year-old girl from Auburn, Alabama, who doesn't know Rod Bramblett personally. Her dad gave us permission to speak with her after she laid down this orange flower where Rod and his wife Paula Bramblett were killed Saturday evening. I love Auburn so much and I've been going to games since I was a little kid and she started crying when she talked about the crash that killed the couple. This is where the crash happened. We're at the corner of Sanford Avenue and State Highway 267. Now police are still working to figure out what happened exactly, but we can tell this was intense. The light pole that was right there was knocked down and dragged all the way over here. And this thing is not light. It's pretty heavy. We also found some pieces of the vehicles involved on the side of the road. He's going to be very well missed in, in the Auburn community as well as probably all through college sports. The driver of the other car involved in the wreck is a 16-year-old, and police have not charged that team with anything. Right now, they don't believe alcohol was a factor. Davis is going to run it all the way back. He's going to be sorely missed. The upcoming football season here at Auburn will not be the same. I'm sure the school will have some tributes for Rod and his wife, Paula. People they're calling forever Tigers. We're in Auburn, Alabama. Taisha Fernandez, Channel 2 Action News, Nightbeat.